Hello, and welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. In this lesson, we're going to talk about more American English pronunciation. Are you ready? Let's begin. Consonant blends. We're continuing on with more words that we can use consonant blends in. Here we go. FL, 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 F, 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 L, 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 Oat, Oat. Now, float. You get on a raft, you get on a boat, you float on the water. Maybe you get on a big inner tube and float down a river. In Wisconsin, they have a place called the Apple River. And it's very popular. People go there. They pay to rent a big truck inner tube tire, uh, inner tube, which goes inside a tire. And then they float down the Apple River. It's fun. Float. Now, O-A-T is the word oat. Oat. Put an S on the end. You have oats. Have you ever heard of oatmeal? Oats are a grain. Rice is a grain, wheat is a grain, barley, on and on. So is oat. Oat. Now, if you took away FL and put on a B, what do you have? Boat. Float. Float. F L A M E. Fla, 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 fla. Can you hear the blend? Fla, la, fla, la. Fla. Aim, aim. Remember I mentioned this letter has a long sound because we have that E on the end. Not always does uh, a letter have a long sound, a long vowel sound, A, E, I, O, or U, because there's an E at the end of the word. But when there is a E at the end of the word and we have a consonant, between this vowel and that vowel, typically, usually, this will have a long sound, whether it be O, U, what have you. So, A. M is M, M. And the E isn't giving us much of a sound, but it's making a difference on the sound of this letter. Flame, flame. If we took off the E, it would sound like flam, flam. Flam isn't a word, right? It isn't a word, but that is what it would sound like. A-M sounds like am, flam. Put on the E, flame. What's a flame? Well, do you know what a candle is? Perhaps you like to light the candles on your birthday cake, and the fire that's burning, we call that fire, a flame, a flame. Or in a campfire, there were many large flames coming up from the logs. FL, fla, fla, oo. EW sounds like oo, oo. You see many words with oo in it, and in many words, not always, it sounds like oo. But here we have flu, FL flu. It's the past tense for the word Fly, F-L-Y, a bird, a bird may fly into the window. Oh my goodness, look at that. A bird just flew into the window. Past tense for the word fly. F-L, I mean, I'm sorry, F-R, fra, 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 fra. Can you hear the blend? Esh. Esh. Remember, ES sounds like S, right? SH. Shh, shh, shh. Fresh. Fresh. Esh. Esh. Fresh. What is fresh? Well, something that's new, right? Uh, boy, it smells so good when my mother used to bake fresh bread. She baked bread, right? Well, bread that's a day old, 
Ah, it smells nice, but not like fresh bread that just comes out of the oven. Fresh cookies, fresh bread. Maybe you have a very youthful, fresh-looking face. Freedom! Fra, E, E, E here sounds like E. D, D, O, M sounds like um. Dumb. Dumb. But a different meaning, not like stupid. Freedom! What is freedom? Freedom means you can do what you want to do, for the most part, right? Do you live in a free country? If you do, then you're very proud of the fact that you have freedom. You're a free person, right? If you don't have freedom, you'd probably like to. But the United States, that's our big thing. Freedom, right? Freedom. Fr, fr, fr ack, ack, ac, ack, t, chur, chur. U-R-E, your, chore, fracture. Now this ends up sounding like a C-H, right? Kind of like C-H, fracture, fracture, ch, ch, fracture. That's really how it sounds. A fracture is something that didn't actually break, but it cracked. It's fractured. If you get in an accident and the doctor says, your arm has been fractured, that means the bone inside isn't broken apart, two separate pieces, it means that it's cracked, a fracture. And it could be uh, other things, not just bones. GL, ga la, ga la, ga la, ga la, fra fra, I mean fla fla, <laughs> gla gla, ass, ass. A-S-S, -S, ass. All right. Gla, ass, glass. We had the word earlier, class. C-L-A-S-S, -S, class. I'm giving a class on English as a second language. Glass. Okay. The window has frames of glass in it, right? Glass, glass. Maybe you're drinking from a glass tumbler. You're having a glass of water. Glass. G L A D. Gla ad. A D sounds like ad. Ad. A D D would be add two numbers together. One and one equals two. A D is also a short abbreviation for the word advertisement, right? So if you are looking uh, for a sale, you might see an advertisement someplace. People will just say it's an ad. Glad means like you're happy. Glad. Here's happy. Here's sad. Here's glad, right? <laughs> we have a saying in the United States that, oh, that guy went from happy to glad real fast. In other words, he found out things weren't quite as great as he thought they were but they weren't terrible, so he was sad. He was just glad. He was, he was a little better than okay, right? But not quite happy. Green. Gr, gr, een. E, e sounds like e. N sounds like n, n. Een, een. Green, it's a color green. Grass is green. Perhaps you know someone who's Irish and they have green eyes. Right? gra -een. If there was only one E here, this sound would be gren. E-N sounds like N. But E-E-N sounds like een. Een. Now, gren, that's not a word. It's just a sound. But that's what this would sound like. Gren. Right? English. Green. gra a, do it, do it, do it. Graduate, graduate, graduate. What's a graduate? How about a graduate student? That's someone who's going to a university and they're probably just about to get their master's degree or they just got their master's degree. They're called a graduate student, right? 
Now, the next level up above a graduate student would be someone who's going for their PhD, their doctorate. Below a graduate, below a master's degree, we say it's a bachelor's degree. That's typically four years at a university. Okay, graduate. Uh, how about the word graduate? If you're going to graduate from high school or something. Same spelling. Graduate, graduate. Grumpy! We have grumpy. Okay. G-R, gr, gr, U-M, um, 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 p, 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 makes a P sound. Y sounds like I in this word, so it's p, I, pi, p, uh, I'm sorry. It sounds like an E. P, E, P, P, P. So it actually sounds like the letter P because the I is there sounding like an E. Grum, P, um, um, grum, P. Take away the Y, what would it sound like? What do you think? How about grump? A grump. There's an old man who lives down the street. He's always yelling at people. He doesn't like anyone. He's just a nasty, mean old man. He is such a grump. And we would say that he is grumpy. Grumpy. He's irritable. He's always acts angry. He's not happy. He's grumpy. An unpleasant old man. P.L. Um. Here's um, grumpy. Here's P.L. P, papa, L, la, 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 pla, pla, pla. Can you hear the P and the L? Pla. U, M, um, plum. What is that? It's a fruit. Yes, yes, indeed. It's a fruit. And let's see. Uh, it's, it's bigger than a grape, but about the same color as what we would call a, a, a purple grape, a red grape right? Uh, a purplish colored grape. They are typically what I think of as plums. They're different kinds. But I think of them as purple and oh, about that big around. They have a soft inside, delicious, fruity taste, plum taste, and they have a very large pit, a big seed in the center that's very hard. You have to be careful you don't hurt your teeth. You have to like chew around it. If you dry them out, do you know what a plum is? It's called a prune. Like a grape, if you dry out a grape, it's called a raisin. If you dry out a plum, it's called a prune. Uh, a prune. Okay, P-L, pla. A-C-E. Ace. Ace. If you play cards in a typical deck of playing cards, you will see the ace. It's a big deal in the cards, the ace. All right? Now, A-C-E, Ace, and then P-L, pla pla Place, Place. Okay, Place, oh, well, what place, which place is yours? Oh, I live in that place over there. A place, right? Okay, some place. Whose place is that? Let's go some place. Let's go to a restaurant. Let's go to a movie theater. Now, the E makes this A sound long. Ace. Place. If we took off the E, we'd have plaque. Plaque. Now, not saying that it's the correct spelling for plaque, but the sound plaque is something that builds up on people's teeth because they don't brush properly. And over time, they get plaque on their teeth. It's a bad thing. But, P-L, pla pla, ace. Pl eight. Pl eight. Now take away PL, you have the word eight. Past tense for the word eat. Did you eat yet? Yes, I ate an hour ago. I, I, I ate this morning. I've already eaten, would be the past participle. Eight is a simple past. A T E. E makes the A sound long. If we took off the E, We'd have plat, plat, plat is not a word, but it would sound plat. Okay, so A sounds long because of this E. 
plate. If we had at by itself, it'd just be the word at. At. Okay? He is at school right now. Plate. Now, what's a plate? Well, usually a plate, when somebody thinks of it, it means different things, right? But basically, think of a dish. When you sit down to eat a meal and you have a flat, round object to eat on, not a bowl, but a plate. That's almost flat. Compared to a bowl, it's flat. Now, many people say, it's a dish. It's a dish. Well, another word is a plate. Okay? Now, that's the end of this lesson. I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.